Some of Hollywood's recent productions, like War Games, tell the story of computer whiz kids. But those are the movies. This weekend, we'd like to introduce you to a real-life whiz kid. He's young, energetic, and a little zany, as Peter Van Dusen found out in A Day in the Life of Leo Binkowski. It's a morning much like any other for Leo Binkowski. He's just awakened and is getting ready to head off to his day job. It's 11 a.m. He has a quick glass of milk, his typical breakfast, then a few words with mom and dad. Leo still lives at home. At only age 20, Leo Binkowski is the senior games programmer with the Nambu Network, earning between 20 and $25,000 a year. He's one of those people who converts popular arcade games for home subscribers on cable. It's a pretty high-tech job that his Polish immigrant parents confess they just don't understand. Do you understand his job? <laughs> no, I don't, but I'm, I'm very happy for uh, that he does have this job and that he's happy, special that he's happy with it. Now, when someone says to you, uh, some friends or something, say, what is it exactly that Leo does? <laughs> well, I say he's in com uh, computer department, but... And then they you, ask you, what does he do? I say, if you like to know what he's doing, ask himself so he could explain the best way. Do you understand his job? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I never did that. Each day Leo leaves for work, usually sometime after noon, on his trusty motorcycle. He used to drive a 1973 Cadillac, but gasoline became too expensive. Vagatskir. <laughs> what? Vagatskir. Oh, all right. Vagatskir is part of Leo's own language. It means hi to we mere mortals and to his colleagues at work. Leo has his own sort of weird language. Well, he's never boring. Sometimes if I happen to stay late working on a project, uh, he'll be here and uh, I'll be going and I'll be leaving at, at the unearthly hour of 12.30 at night and he'll still be here going full strength with the radio blaring away and probably listening to the Walkman. Is he, uh, some people have used the term weird to describe Leo. No, he's creative. Leo taught at a computer camp after graduating from Glebe High School. It was at that camp that he got his break with Nabu two years ago. A person from Nabu had come over and to look at some of our stuff that we had done to teach kids basic. And um, he liked it, and so he offered us all jobs, and four of us took the jobs out of eight. What, uh, uh, what do your friends think uh, of the kind of work you do? Uh, do you have much in common that you can talk about with them when you get it's, together? It's very difficult to um, to talk with somebody. I occasionally, I bring a friend in, and uh, it doesn't get past the stage where they're playing games. And like I can show them something, but it's since it's there's there's no comprehension involved with it. They just look at it and say, "Hey, that's nice," and they get back to playing the game. <laughs> Leo's job as a senior programmer at NABU requires him to train new programmers coming on staff. If it's an arcade conversion, which is what we're doing right now a lot, we go to the arcade and we actually tape the video game mm -hmm. and just we bring a camera in and we'll look at it and uh, then we can we could look at the tape at our leisure. Once Leo gets an idea of how the game should look, he goes through a lengthy process hour after hour of programming sounds, colors, and various other instructions into the NABU computer. Uh, having a, a short-term immunity to frustration, which is, I think, probably one of the biggest things. <laughs> Leo has converted such arcade favorites as Pac-Man for the NABU network. He keeps pretty much his own hours, preferring to start late and work late, and that's fine with the company. As well as having, uh, being able to sleep in, which I find kind of a luxury, uh, it's just, I just find it easier to work at night. You can turn up the radio and uh, 
just just go at your own pace. Whereas there's a lot of people around during the day, you can't make any noise. And Leo's fellow employees have become used to his off-the-wall brand of humor. And although he is young at this job, Leo is often called upon by older co-workers for advice on programming problems. Put, plug it in and then see if you can uh, do a dir on that. You might think that someone who programs video games for a living would have their fill of them at the office, but not Leo Binkowski. In fact, Leo Binkowski spends much of his spare time, and about $100 a month, playing arcade games. Usually over lunch hour, nearby video arcades are full of Leo and his co-workers, brushing up on the latest craze or simply unwinding from a tough day at the office. What kind of satisfaction? Personal satisfaction, not, not anything beyond that. So for those of you who play the Naboo Network games at home, now you know a little bit about one of those people behind many of them. Right now, Leo Binkowski is having fun doing what he does and hasn't given much thought to doing anything else. Seeing my stuff being played by other people is really nice. Another thing is, um, it's just, it's just, I find it just natural for me to do. I, like, if I, if I, I feel that if I wasn't doing this for a living, I probably would be doing it in my spare time or something, like as a hobby. So it's like I'm, I'm working my hobby out. <laughs> joining us this weekend. Next time around, be sure to tune us in. We'll sample some early century Quebecois cuisine. Visit a farm near Almont in the Paul family.